Yo, what is up, guys? Matt Wick here, and we are back with another NHL 18 GM mode, franchise mode, franchise mode video. I believe that's what it's called in this game. No more GM mode. Uh, franchise mode video. We're here with our Vegas Knights. We are in 2018, 2019. We just finished the season. If you remember, we offloaded a bunch of guys at the last trade deadline. We finished with a terrible, terrible record. Uh, Carlson led the way in points. Let's take a look just real quick before we go into the draft. I want to just look at what we need. Um, because there are some areas we need to um, build on. I feel like um, our defense, we have a couple good defensemen coming up. Uh, so let's just go. We'll sort by potential. Okay, so we got Shabbat. Um, we picked him up in a trade from Ottawa, I believe, for Flurry. So let's go through and see what we've got. We've got some top six forwards here. Let's see, this guy, 22 years old, uh, medium top six. So he's rated as a second line guy already. That's insane. He's only 82 overall. Um, and he's rated for the second line, so that's nuts. Uh, we got Lankin in here, third line. Uh, Carlson, who's rated for the third line. Maybe we'll actually put him on the third line and another third line guy there. Um, so maybe we'll try to make that our third line. Maybe we'll just try to toss White up there. I'm surprised. White is 82, but Carlson's 83, and Carlson's rated third line. White's rated second line. So that's something maybe to look at for the future. Uh, Howell's rated for a third line as well. Marcia so third line. So we got a lot of third line guys here, another third line guy. Um, we have a top four defenseman there. So that's pretty much it. We don't really have anybody who can play on a first or second line as besides White, I guess, who's rated for it. Uh, let's go in the system and see what we've got. Cal Foot is developing very nicely. Callan Foot, um, he is 77 overall medium elite, so we're hoping for a big jump from him. Philip Zadina um, may be ready to play next year. We'll see if he can make the jump for maybe like a fourth line. Uh, Victor Anisimov, he's not going to be ready to play uh, for another year or two. Hanula, um, probably not either. He's not going to be ready to play only 19 years old. Deborah Kent, this is a guy we can expect maybe for our second line um, or third line maybe to hop up, um, if not another year in the minors. Nick Suzuki, we really need you to grow, my man. He's rated as another forward, so maybe we shouldn't play him anymore. Um, and other than that, we don't really have too much to look at. Gaunt, who's rated as a fourth line guy who can give us some good minutes if we need him. Uh, Griffin Reinhardt, still minor league. Hopefully he gets a little bit better. Petrus Palmu, where's our boy? Where's Pippinen? Uh, there's Listerainen, 61. Where's uh, where's our boy? Uh, I think he was in here. Yeah, he was Timo Pippinen, 69 overall. Okay, so maybe he in a year or two, so maybe he'll just be ready to play uh, in the minors. We have Timo Polkinen there, ready to go. And let's take a look at our goalies uh, main roster. I believe we made a trade for, yeah, Fitzpatrick, 79 overall. So hopefully he jumps at least to an 81, 82 uh, before the start of next season. We have Pavlik, who we probably won't resign In the system, we have a couple. We have Helms, we have Skinner, and we have Hendrickson. Three, three could be starter potential goalies. We hope Skinner would get up there because we took him pretty early in the first round. Hopefully he's not a bust. Uh, Todd Helms, um, the year later in the later round. But yeah, so we kind of, we, I mean, again, we need everything. Um, but I think in an area we really need to address is our forwards. Um, because we have a couple defensive prospects. We have Shabbat and we have uh, Theodore and we have uh, Foot. Uh, Merrill and Bogosian aren't bad. But we are really struggling with our uh, offensive prospects right now. I mean, we have a couple to come up. I guess that's not true. I guess we have a couple to come up. Um, I guess we could use another defenseman. Um, we took Zadina and Anisimov last year in first round in the, in the draft. Um, so maybe we should look more towards defense this draft. So let's hop right into it. I looked at the draft class a little bit, but I can't remember um, what pick I have. Um, it might be sorted already. Uh, so let's go. We can't make a trade. Um, trading block. Can I see my pick on the trading block before we hop into the draft? Let's see if I want to add draft picks. We have, no, it just says the first round pick. So we have, wait, how many first round picks do we have there? Uh, let's take another look. First round picks. We have one, two, oh wait, okay. It's sorting us by first round picks. Okay. So let's go by year. Okay. So we have two first round picks. We have two second round picks, two thirds, a fourth, Two fifths, a six, and a seventh. Okay, so we got a lot of nice picks here. Um, we have two first rounders, so that should be nice. Uh, hopefully, St. Louis didn't uh, go too far. They couldn't. They couldn't have gone the Stanley Cup because Stars won it. The Stars. So let's go into the draft, guys. Let's see what we can do. We've been looking at those draft videos that we've been doing, and we've been seeing some nice stuff. Let's see. So we have the fifth overall pick. So I feel like based on our record and what we should have had, I think we should have been around third. So we got a little bit shafted there. Uh, we missed out a bit. That's okay. I think there's a decent guy. Let's go to view the draft class. 
I think there's a decent guy um, who's there who I was looking at, and it was uh, this guy, Nabi Bulan. He's rated as a high elite defensive defenseman. I pinned him. I was really interested in him. Uh, we have a high top six for it as well on Howard Dublowicz. Um, <laughs> another, I don't want to draft him just so I don't have to say his name. Fritz Evans Cutta, Nabi Bulan, and Dublowicz. Um, we have those guys that we. We can probably have the pick between because all the top five guys. Actually, we'll probably get a chance to last top five guy remaining, but we haven't scouted them as much as these guys. And I really like this guy just because of what we've seen defensive defensemen become um, in our other G in our other series where we've just been looking at the draft. Um, I feel like defensive defensemen really grow and as a high elite guy. Um, so we're really sure he's going to be an elite. I think that's what one comment said. I think I pinned it in one of my other videos. So it's what the scout thinks. He has high confidence that this guy is going to be an elite potential player. Um, so that is what we think he's going to be. This guy, high confidence that he think we think he's going to be a top six. High confidence that he's going to be a top four. Um, we're sure he's going to be a top four, medium top nine. So it might mean that he is a little bit higher. So I think that's what that means. I think that guy had a pretty good point there when he was talking about what the potentials of these guys are. So let's go. Let's see who the first overall pick is in. This is the 2018, 2019 draft, I believe. So let's go sim option, sim pick. Wow. Look at that. That is a horrible pick for number one overall. Wow. That has to be in any GM mode that I've ever seen. That has to be the worst first overall pick I have seen. He is a high top six forward, so he's got a great chance to grow, but coming out as a 57 overall. When we've seen guys, I think in every other GM mode I've done, we've seen guys come out as like 80, 82, like 79. Like, and this guy comes out first overall as a 57. I mean, we're going to really have to follow this guy from Carolina to see how he develops because as a high top six, I mean, he's got great potential. He's going to be a top six forward in the NHL someday. But that day is not today, and it's not next season. It might not even be the next season. For, for a first overall pick to be that, I mean, that's just a little bit... I don't know, guys, but let's sim the next pick. Let's see what we get. 56 overall. Wow. So maybe, I mean, the, both of these GMs were started at the same time because I was just trying to think. Maybe they updated what the uh, overalls turn out to be because I started the other one during EA Access. And this one, I think I started during EA Access as well. Wow. So I'm really, really surprised here with that. Um, but wow, let's get in. Let's sim the next pick. Um, sim options. That was bad. Okay, wait. Now we don't even have to worry about it. Um, this was the guy I was looking at because I thought it was funny. Medium top four defenseman, Rodney Beck, 5'9", 183. Uh, so a tiny guy there. Wade Corvo gets taken. Good size on him. So hopefully, I'm hoping Nobby Bullen stays there. I really want to take him sim pick because um, we have high confidence that that guy's going to be an elite. We haven't seen an elite get taken just yet. Paul Mary gets taken. Let's see who's available to us at this pick. Okay, so we have this guy here. We have two defensive defensemen. Okay, so this is going to be a tough pick, guys. We have a guy rated top five and a guy rated top ten. One that we are sure in Nabi Bulan is probably going to be an elite. Kovalev, medium elite. Now, with the rest of these guys I've seen coming out as... Um, what is the word I'm looking for? As the rest of these guys I'm seeing coming out as medium top fours, I didn't scout... I think a couple of them were rated to be um, elites. Um, so they're not. So looking at this guy, this Kovalev, and seeing medium elite, I know we've scouted him one time, but it doesn't really make me too confident that um, he's going to come out and be an elite. I'd really rather take Nabi Bulan and uh, go with him. He's high elite rated, which I think they'll come out to be a medium elite. Um, and I really like the defensive defenseman. I know he is as well. Um, it's just that I don't think that he is going to come out to be a medium elite. I think he's going to be a, a medium top four. Maybe If he's a high top four, that's a great pick. But I'd really like to go for this guy. I've had my eyes set on him. He was projected to go in the top five, but he got changed up um, as we sim to the draft from the end of the regular season. So, I mean, that might not be a bad might not be a good thing. Hopefully, it doesn't come out of low elite. As long as he comes out as a medium elite, I'll be happy, especially what these guys have been coming out as. Uh, so let's make the pick. We're going to go with Navi Bullen. I know you guys might be freaking out right now saying, no, just take the top five guy. You know he's going to be an elite. You know he's got a chance. He's going to come out of his franchise, and you're going to be really mad. Maybe, but I'm going to go with my gut here. I'm going to take Navi Bullen. Uh, let's make the pick. Oh, <laughs> so our scouts came up wrong, guys. So 
he was rated to be. They had high confidence that he was going to be elite. Fucked up. Medium top four. Now, I swear to God, if Kovalev comes out to be anything more than a medium top four, I am going to be triggered beyond belief, guys. Be ready. Turn the sound down on your headphones right now or on your iPads or on your your Windows tablets or whatever you got you're watching this on, your TV. Turn it down because if I see Kovalev come out as an elite, I'm going to flip out. He better be a top four. I swear to God. I'm going to start scouting again, guys. I swear to God. Okay, Evans gets taken, so Kovalev gets passed on again. I believe it was Kovalev. I'm going to say Kovalev for now, unless I'm wrong. I can't remember. I got the memory of a goldfish. Uh, Evans gets taken, so medium top four defensive defenseman. I was also looking at this guy just because he is big boy, 6'5", 212. But I really wanted to go with the uh, smaller, more agile uh, Dmitry Nabibulin at 6'194". Um, so let's see. Kovalev's still there. Top five pick is still there, defensive defenseman. Two guys just got taken in front of him. Uh, so he's sitting in the stands with his parents and his probably his sister, and he gets passed on again. So he is starting to get scared. He is like, oh, no, am I going to turn into – what's the quarterback I'm looking for who was sitting there? Was it Aaron – it wasn't Aaron Rodgers that waited there. Alex Smith? No. Was it Aaron Rodgers or Alex Smith that was sitting there waiting the whole time? I think it was Aaron Rodgers. I know Johnny Manziel was sitting there too, and I know uh, a couple other guys. Okay, so there he is. I know I was getting on a rant there. But there he is, Kovalev, medium top four, 56 overall. So it looks like all three of these guys could be great players in the future. Actually, all four of them, wow. Uh, so all three of the defensive defensemen, at least, should be great players in the future. 56 overalls, medium top fours. But really surprising, guys, that we haven't seen an elite come off the board yet. I wonder if we will. Let's sim to the next pick. Uh, okay, so we got Kutta there, medium top six. Uh, medium top four in the Fritz. Okay, so medium top four again. Medium top six. So, I mean, there's depth in the draft, but there's not a lot of studs coming out. So, let's see. Medium top four defensemen. So, we got a lot of top six forwards and medium top four defensemen. So, I guess it didn't really matter where you finished this year. There's our first elite festerling. Wow, medium elite defensive defenseman. The Leafs made out like kings in this draft they finish well in the season get the 18th pick and then they get to draft colin colton festerling um the next pick top four a lot of defensive defensemen going in this draft so we'll really have to keep an eye on how these guys develop because it's going to be uh up for grabs here we're still waiting for our pick to come around we got the 24th here with saint louis uh gogolev 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 and good branson get taken there uh let's go to the next pick toms and we got Pittsburgh, and now us. So we got some medium top nine guys getting taken, and medium top six guys before. Let's see if we can find a steal here. Uh, we did last year with Anisimov. Let's see if there's anybody else out here now. Vikingstad. I grabbed a guy like this in my last GM mode, uh, whose last name was Vikingstad, in the draft GM mode. I think a goalie who turned out to be elite. Um, <laughs> so medium top six D man, medium top six forward here, William Froze, Fraze. 5'8", great size on him, great size, six-foot guy there. Uh, so we got a lot of Swedes here at the back end of this round. Um, Ola, Renberg, 6'5", big guy, 2 way defender. Okay, so we got some exact top nine. Let's just do this real quick. We're not going to take any of the guys if there are any elites um, scouted. Um, we'll wait until the rounds that we take them. Okay, so we got this guy scouted to exact, James Callahan. We got Molson, and we got Skula there. What we're going to do um, from now on in the GM modes is we're not going to take um, any of these guys until the round they're drafted. So if we don't have a seventh round pick, we're not going to take this guy in the sixth round, I think. I think it's a little bit cheesy um, just to go and just snag all these guys up. So we're going to we're gonna put that rule on ourselves. Um, we can't take them. How about we'll just do this. We can't take them within like, uh, what am I thinking? Within one round of when they're supposed to be taken so this guy we can take in the sixth round or the seventh round this guy we can take in the third round or the fourth round i mean i guess we can do stuff like that just because in real life um i mean that's still going to be cheese because no one else is going to take these guys um i don't know maybe we'll, we'll see what we got to do we're not going to cheese it like we have in the other draft just because that doesn't make it any fun um it just makes it uh crap so we won't do that um but we got to think of who we got to take out here we got high top six forwards. So we've already been let down once by our uh, scouts. Left wing, Ola Backman, uh, 17 years old. And then we have Vikingstad, another defensive defenseman. I said I was going to focus on defense this draft, and I think maybe we should stick to that medium top six. Um, Vikingstad and, fuck, I already forgot his name. Who is the guy we just drafted? 
Nabi Bulan. So Vikingstad and Nabi Bulan. That could be a defensive pairing that could go down in the history books. Do I have faith in my scout after he let me down, though? I mean, the scout hasn't scouted this guy, and he's supposed to be a top six defenseman. Um, that's not bad. Let's roll. Ah, fuck. And then we got a high top six guy here, so he could come out to be a medium top six forward. Hmm. Thirty seconds. We're gonna need to call a timeout. Call a timeout. We need some extra time here. Uh, we need some time to think. See, this would be when it's nice to maybe stream on like Twitch or something like that to get your guys. Uh, input straight off the bat because I love reading your guys' comments. It's awesome. Um, I love going through them all the time. I try to like every single one that I can. I go through them on my activity feed. I know sometimes sometimes it gets a little bit crazy because, I mean, uh, at the time of this video, I think I had 799 subscribers. And just to – from when NHL came out, I had 24. And now to be at, like, almost – pushing probably over 800 now that's just uh that's just insane and i really gotta thank you guys and i've been uh i had that question video that i put up so if you guys want to ask any questions go ask it there i'm gonna an try to answer everybody's questions i've been getting some really really good ones that have made me uh think a lot and made me really look back on like uh someone asked me when i started watching hockey and that just made me uh just think so much about like how i got started in hockey and how like I really got my interest peaked, and it was really a uh, really nice moment to think about. So yeah, I'll talk about that more in that video. Um, I'll be posting that probably probably tomorrow. I'll put that up. I'll have some time. So if you guys see this and want to ask a question, definitely go back to that video and let me know, or just put it in the comments and I'll answer it. I'll answer every single question. I don't care how long the video takes. Um, it's just a just a thank you to you guys, and I'll give you guys a little background on. Uh, my life and who I am, but I think just because of the fucking name Vikingstad, we got four super Swedes here. Um, let's just go for it. We wanted to be more defensive this draft. We took two offensive players last draft, so let's go for it this year. We're gonna go and build on what we wanted to do. I know the guys rate is a high top six, but you saw we already got justed by that with our last pick. So let's just take this guy here, uh, Vikingstad. Okay, so he comes out to be a medium top six. That's not a bad pick. Medium top six. That means he's got a decent chance. Stefan Vikingstad. I'd love to have a line of Vikingstad and Nabi Bullen. That'd be a heck of a line going for. Let's see what those guys that we passed on become. Uh, it was Backman who we were really looking at. Medium top four D-man and Hogan there. Wow. So a missed pick by us. Uh, that guy's going to be better than... Probably better than Vikingstad in the long run. So let's see. Backman. Okay, he came out to be a medium top six. So it would have been a good pick, guys. So we might have messed up on that pick. Um, but I'm going to stick with it. And we'll hope that Vikingstad can uh, maybe grow a little bit better than what we think. Let's see. I think there was another medium top six forward there taken at the end of the round. Okay, medium top nine, medium top six forwards taken there. Okay, so that's not bad. Um, let's go ahead. We got. Oh, we should have had the second pick, and we ended up getting the fifth. I guess it doesn't really matter because we got the guy that we really wanted. Are we we're supposed to have the pick? Maybe we have. I don't remember whose pick this is. Let's go take a look. Offer trade. Who's second round? Is that supposed to be ours, or did we trade for somebody else's second round as well? And did we have that one? So let's go. Okay, so our pick was supposed to be the second pick. Okay, so we were supposed to have the second overall pick, um, and we ended up getting the fifth. That kind of sucks. Uh, let's go sim options, sim pick. Okay, so we got Alexev taken there, so we have a nice chance at grabbing a good player here. Let's go a little bit more offensive, I think. We have an exact top nine, top six, top nine. Um, let's just see. This is the second round, so was there that elite that was projected to go in this second round? No, he was not. He's projected to go in the third. Any of these guys, we have the top six. Um, forward here, Kristan Lindbach. Um, let's take a look. Let's sort back and go see if we can find him in the list. Um, let's go through and see maybe any of these guys, any of these top six forwards rated. Uh, so we got exact top nine, Malkin, um, Winding, Lee. Okay, so where's that? There's that top six, Lindbach right there. He's a power forward. I don't know if I like that. Center, power forward, Kristan, Christian Lindbach. Um, high top six. Um, so I think let's go with that pick. This is going to be a very defensive draft because we're taking a power forward. We took two defensive defensemen. Now we're taking a power forward. So what are we making our team, guys? What are we building this team to become? Um, Radoslav Lintner. Uh, okay, so maybe not a bad pick there. Let's go. Oh, fuck, I've been taking guys. Let's see. Vic Westgraf. We got enough defensive defensemen, I feel like. Downey there, high league interest. Julian Downey, exact top four, five, eight, 171. We got a little Connor Sheary on our hands there, the German right here in Nold. 
Um, I think let's go with the guy who's rated high top six. See what he becomes. We didn't trust our scouts. The last pick will probably get just at this pick. It's like a one on one off kind of thing. High top six forward here. Let's see what he becomes. Ah, low top six. I don't know if I like that. I'd rather have the medium top nine guy than a low top six guy. Uh, sim pick. Let's see what we passed on. Medium top nine and Downey. Top nine there. All right, we got another pick here. Let's see who we have available to us. Vic Westgroth, we could take him. This guy's been getting passed on a lot. That's not good news for him. Um, let's see. Man, I might turn scouting back on because I don't like how it's not having the coverage of a lot of, a lot of these guys. Um, and I think scouting on my own, I'd be able to get that. So let's see, medium top six. And so nobody else really standing out to me. So let's just grab something that we think we might need. Uh, we have a couple more defensive defensemen here. This guy's rated exact top six. I don't know if I'd want to risk it. Three and a half, three and a half, three and a half. So he's got a lot of three and a half. Start Radoslav Lintner, Thomas Dahl. Uh, who's the biggest guy out of those three? Vic Westgraf, 6'3", 6'1". 6'1", okay. So we have a decision to make here. I'm not really sure who to go with. Um, I think let's go with a defenseman. Let's go with um, Lintner. I th um, shit. We have Lintner scouted, we have Dahl scout, Westgrass scouted to an exact, he's top six, we know that. Lintner's exact, exact top six, we know that as well. How old is Westgrath? Is he 17? No, he's 18. His senses are a little bit better. See, I don't even know what that means, like the high scouting. Like, does that mean, is that what he's gonna come out as? Uh, three star, four star, like stuff like that. And then we don't know what this guy's gonna come out as. Uh, let's go with, Let's go with Westgrath, uh, another defensive defenseman. I know you guys are probably like, why? You don't need this many defensive defensemen, but you guys don't know. These guys got to grow, and we need picks. Uh, so we're going to need defensemen in the future, and I'd really like to load up on them if we could. So let's see. We got him, Dahl, Lintner. Let's go Let's go with, 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 with Westgrath, uh, Garth, Ga Garth, yeah, West Garth. <laughs> Make the pick. Uh, medium top six defenseman. Okay, so I'll take that. Let's see. Sim pick. Let's see the guys that we didn't take. Medium top nine. Top nine. So that Brunstrom finally got taken. So, was, I mean, there's not a lot of bad picks here. Uh, the only bad pick I would say is our pick with our low, low top six guy. I said I'd rather just have a top nine uh, forward. Still haven't seen. So a high fringe starter goalie. So he will make it to that potential. Let's go sim to the next user pick. Let's see what we got. Go back through the second round, see who got taken. Any elites get taken in the later later parts of that round? Doesn't look like it. There's a top four guy there. Nice pick by Detroit. Uh, really standing out right there. Let's take another pick. Detroit with another nice tick pick. Medium top nine. Uh, let's see. We got a high top six forward here in Sundstrom. So a lot of Swedes coming out in this round. Let's see. I think that elite guy was here as well. Okay, so he was ready for the third round school. I think we'll pass on him, and then we'll take the defenseman the next round uh, in the fourth. So let's see. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's go projected. Projected one more time. There we go. All right, so we have these two guys that we've actually pinned, Smirnov and Sundstrom. So I've actually pinned them for some reason because I liked what I saw. Callie Sundstrom, 6'4", two-way forward, and Mikhail Smirnov, high top nine forward as well so let's go with uh the top six forward i know we were ugh, man it just makes me hurt trying to make these picks just because i don't want them to come out as low potential guys but i really want to take the i'll take the risk here let's go with sundstrom um i pinned these guys for a reason i wanted to grab them so we got a medium top nine so not a bad pick there in the third round um i'm okay with that cleft boom low top six so i would not be happy with that voinov low top six i wouldn't want that low top four wouldn't want that uh, so let's see what Smirnov comes out to be. If he gets taken, maybe we should uh, drop up in the round to maybe snag him up. A lot of low potential players getting taken here. Um, Smirnov's still on the board. I'll go one or two more picks and see if he's still there. And if he is, I might try to snag him up. Skula, there was that elite uh, low top six forward, so I'm glad we did not take him. Smirnov, there he is, a, low t a medium top nine. So that would have been a good pick to jump up and maybe grab him. Um, he, only, he almost made it to us, too. Um, but we need our picks, guys. We need to build for the future, so I'm okay with it. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, third, fourth round, guys. So low top nine. Um, so we don't think he's going to be top nine. Uh, Gabo. See, now these are the rounds when you would want to do this sort 
and start trying to grab these guys. You'd want to grab these guys in the later rounds. We got Molson here, high elite. Uh, let's just go for it and grab him. Um, shit, or should I wait? I'll wait. I'll wait until the fourth round. I'll try to stick to what I said I would do um, and draft him then. So let's go sort again. Um, what do we need? Let's grab someone a little bit more of a skilled player, a playmaker, a sniper, and see what we can get. Um, we don't need any more defensive defensemen, play, uh, power forwards, or two-way forwards. <laughs> We've been grabbing a lot of those guys. So Gerby right here, uh, 5'10", 186, Ronnie Gerby, offensive defenseman. He's rated as a medium top six. I think I want to go for him just to shake it up with a bit of our uh, defenseman. Is he high league interest? Yeah, he's high league interest. Uh, so is this Holland, Larry Holland. Uh, 5'9", 176, good size on him as well. Korolev, Stanislav Korolev, we don't need another two-way forward. Um, let's go with the, I want to say the sniper. Have we scouted Gerbio? We have not. Let's, we don't have any <laughs> rating on what this guy's going to be, but we scouted him one time. <laughs> Come on, scout, what are you doing? Uh, Gerby is rated medium top six. Let's go, let's go with the risk. Let's go with the risk here and grab Holland with the right wing sniper. Uh, Larry Holland. Get on my team. Medium bottom six, not the greatest pick. <laughs> Probably would have been better off just grabbing the other guy. Sim to the next user pick. Let's see if we can grab our fourth round uh, elite. See what he comes out to be. Let's see if anybody else got snagged behind us or see what. Uh, ooh, nice pick there. High bottom six. So he got he's got good potential to develop. Um, is our defenseman still there? Kirby. Okay, so we didn't make a bad pick there. Seventh defenseman. I don't. I wouldn't have been happy with that. Um, I'm more happy with the medium bottom six. So let's go ahead and grab that elite. See what he comes out to be, boys. Hold your fingers. Uh, hold your fingers. Cross your fingers. Hold him if you want. Um, he's right there for us. So let's go ahead and grab him up. I'd be crazy if I didn't. High elite defensive defenseman come out just to be low top four. Okay, so not bad for a fourth round. I mean, when you see guys medium top nine getting taken, you wouldn't really like the top four, but low potential. We'll see what he comes out to be. Not a lot of elites to be found in this draft, guys. Um, sim to the next user pick. Let's go back. Let's see. Do we have a fourth, another fourth. No, we have our fifth. Let's go check the rest of the round. See if any elites got snagged up there. Doesn't look like it though. Wow, guys, this is probably one of the blandest drafts I've seen. There's one low elite, the Latowski, um, two way defender for St. Louis. Yeah, like I was saying, this is one of the like least exciting drafts I think I've been a part of. Um, every draft in my other series has been like pretty exciting and we've been, whoa, look at that flag. What is that? Clapperton? What the fuck flag is that? Guys in the comments, if you see this, Fred Clapperton, where is he from? Um, I kind of want to take him just because of that. We got a medium top nine forward here though in Vitaly Kaminsky. Um, what? I kind of want to just take him just because of the flag. Fred, Fred Cap Clapperton. Um, what is he? He is a two-way defender. Ah, uh, fuck, man. I just want to take him, but I feel like Kaminsky's going to come out to be half decent. 17 years old, left uh, left wing, top nine grinder. Fuck, man. Just take it because of that flag. That flag caught my eye. Seventh D. I mean, that's what we expected, but shit, dude. Now I get to look at that cool-ass flag all day. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Stupid wasted pick, but guys, let me know where that flag was from. Um, that was pretty cool looking. I'm going to be really mad when I go back and look at Kaminsky and he's like a high elite or high franchise player. Uh, where is he at? Kaminsky, Kaminsky, Kaminsky. Giftopolis, great name there. Uh, Kaminsky still looking for him. Is he, was he not taken uh, very early on? Letowski, wait, wasn't he? Wasn't that the guy that they drafted before? Where, where am I at? Where the world did... Wait, no, wait, we went fifth round. We took Clapperton. Okay. So we have another one? Okay, Kaminsky came out to be a medium top nine. Okay, so that would have been the better pick. We got a little carried away, though, guys. Um, oh, look at the goalie! Spurtkus! Spurt... 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 All right, you guys can't jump on me for that one. That's fucking hard to pronounce. Marion Spurt... <laughs> medium elite, 51 overall. What a pick there in the fifth round by Minnesota. Wow! There we go. Oh, and he almost made it to us, too. Jeez, that would have been cool. All right, let's see what we got here. We got a low top nine forward, uh, exact top nine, exact top six. Let's go with the exact top six center playmaker. So we've been looking for more um, Scott Shaw. We've been looking for more uh, skill players there. So let's go ahead and grab him up, Scott Shaw. He's got no league interest. That kind of scares me. So I think he's going to be a low top nine. Let's see what he becomes. Okay, so yeah, low top nine. So we read that one well, uh, made the pick anyway. 
Uh, so we'll see what he becomes. Let's see what the next pick turns out to be. Medium bottom six, uh, seventh D. That's a great name right there. Not even going to try. Uh, let's go to the next one. Send him to the next user pick. Let's go back and check him. Let's go back and check him. Uh, so let's see after our pick. Shaw, 70, 70, top nine, top nine, bottom six, bottom six, bottom six, bottom six, 70, 70. Boom. Nothing exciting there. Uh, low top nine guy, Zykov, taken by Detroit there. This is the sixth round, I believe. So I think there was a guy. We're going to snag him up. Uh, let's go seventh round. I mean, look at how many times we've scouted this guy too. So why not? Let's grab him. Exactly Lee, Callahan, playmaker. Scouted 12 times. The scouts obviously see something in him. They've been yelling at me like, take the fucking guy. You keep making these stupid picks, looking at flags and other shit. Take the guy that we scouted. So there you go, scouts. We'll take him. Low elite Callahan gets taken there in the sixth round. I'm okay with that, um, even if he doesn't grow. Um, I'm okay with the low elite potential. Let's go sim options. Sim the next user pick. We'll go back and check the seventh or sixth round. Uh, do we have another pick? Seventh round pick six. Okay, so we have, we, it looks like we dropped back a little bit in our picks. There's another low elite Valen in. Valen, the low elite defensive defenseman. That's a cool pick. Uh, Any more? We got a lot of low top nine guys, low top four mixed in there as well. So it looks like a lot of low potential here. I, I like how they did that. Instead of the AHL top two, it's now just low potential. So they don't have a very high chance to grow. And I like how they kind of switched that up. So good job, EA. I'm proud of you on that one. Uh, let's go through. Man, these draft videos are fucking long, I feel like. I just bullshit here the whole time. Uh, we got another offensive defenseman there. No league interest. Let's go and sort again. Is there anybody left who we have high interest in? Um, top six guys, low top nine. We got a couple top nine. Any uh, offensive defenseman? Ovechkin, seventh round. Vladimir Ovechkin, 5'8", offensive defenseman. Let's go and grab Kapitanov, six foot. Smirnov. Clapperton, we can take his brother from the United States. He defected. Let's take a look. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? I don't know. Um. Damn, these picks get so hard. Exact top six. We got medium top nine guys here. We got playmaker, two way forward playmaker. Uh, no league interest in any of those guys. The only guy that has high league interest is this Smirnov defensive defenseman. He's rated as a high top six. Uh, let's go ahead and grab him. He's got high league interest, and we have high top six on him. So let's go medium top six. I love the pick. Seventh round. There we go. Defensive defense. We get another defenseman. Uh, we look to go very defensive this draft to build in that, and I think we did very well with that seventh round pick there. So let's go sim pick. Let's see if any more elites get taken. Low top six. Haha, ha, not better than our pick. Low top nine. Haha, ha, not better than our pick. Um, Ovechkin. There we go. He passed on him. Made the right pick. AHL. Yikes. So getting those AHL forwards in now. So we're finally starting to see some. I've, I, haven't, I haven't really seen AHL players getting picked in these drafts. So it's kind of surprising to see. We're almost done here. We're getting towards the end. I think I'll do free agency and uh, what am I looking for? Free agency and re-signing in the next video. And I'll do some of the first season sim. Low starter there in the seventh round. Not bad. Low top, medium top six. That's good. Medium backup. That's a good pick as well. Um, anytime you get NHL potential with medium ratings, that's not a bad pick in my eyes, especially here in the seventh round. So we're almost done. We're winding down the last couple picks, guys. Let me know what you think. Did I draft too many defensemen? I know I got, kind of got carried away with it there. Um, definitely let me know where that guy's flag is from. Let's see. Last pick. Dallas Stars. AHL top two. The draft is now complete. This is who we got, guys. I'm very happy with our draft, I think. We got a lot of defensemen. I told you I wanted to go defensive in the beginning of the draft, so it's not like I surprised you. Um... But yeah, guys, let me know what you think. We'll get to the free agency. We'll get to re-signing in the next video. Then we'll sim some of the first season, assign our captains, do all that fun stuff. I know we shook the team up a lot, so we're going to have a lot to do with uh, editing lines and whatnot. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace.